Hey my lovelies and welcome back to episode 9 of Whimsy Stories and we are here with the family who is working on some of their skills during Harvest Fest. I did play a little bit off camera just to work on their skills and get to the point where we can age up Hazel which it is almost Hazel's birthday so I think we can age her up in this episode and I'm quickly going to place this down over here because that's not supposed to be on the bed. Ooh, Dakota finished a masterpiece. I've been having him paint a lot. And with a lot, I mean a lot. And he has been getting so good. So, so good at painting. So he is painting at level 8 already. Like He, he has a talents and weakness mod from painting. But it's mind-blowing how fast he has been whip painting and gardening in level six like fishing level five like those skills we've been actively working on painting we just got in the last episode and he is already level eight with like no prior working on the skills whatsoever uh not sure about playing interest trust because you're not supposed to in terms of isabel skills she has been doing pretty okay as well like fabrication level eight handiness level eight like she's now making uh, a dining table because I want to have them place a dining table and dining chairs out here to basically be able to eat out in the open. As she has been feeling like really trapped. She's been outside, like outside in this area a lot, but I feel like she wants to be more out of the home and into other places. So I think we would be good if we age up Hazel, bring her more over to the maker space, maybe turn this dump over here in a setting space where we can also do like some fabrication, some crafting and start working on making money because we our money situation has been okay but we have to keep paying off like so many bills every single time and then we also have to keep paying like other things um, for example her home birth it took out so much money that we ended up at 65 simoleons and with her working on our job now being able to have like kids pets created she gets higher gig pay out so it builds up the money a lot faster but it's still it's still a struggle um so yeah we it's the skills are looking good like they i think the reaching the skills like it's not an issue like at this point we just need to max out the skills we probably need to like age up into young adults uh into an adult so we can add on more to the home and we need to give her two more tattoos because she only has the flower band right here on her arm. But she doesn't have any other tattoos. And I do have some ideas as how she's going to get those tattoos or why she's going to get those tattoos. And one is actually going to be for Hazel. So I think it would be nice that she is going to get a tattoo that rep represents Hazel or represents her firstborn child. And something that probably will be on her chest or on her collarbone uh, close to her heart. Then one thing happened off camera that is definitely worth mentioning. So Reina, she's been living with us for a few days now. She's been adjusting, she's been working on her job. She's been making some money. I did install SMB bills or no, SM, the Sims National Bank, which SMB bills falls under. So we now have the SMB bank and she actually has her own checking account where we put all the money in that she's making from her barista job. So anything that she sells, anything that she uh, earns, she will have her own accounts and we will have an own account for our kids as well when they would ever do part-time jobs. But I think it's nicer to keep track of uh, certain people making certain money, certain amounts of money. But her mother came over and i'm going to insert a picture here she came over and she actually started yelling at Dakota about reina she came over with the mood that i'm carrying and she just did not care about reina's situation she was just like that's my daughter and she's not supposed to live here and i'm not paying this so reina came over and she started yelling to her mom which actually made her lose some empathy. And if I now show her character values, or not the character values, but her relationship with her mom, and I gave her mom and her brother a full makeover, but she actually now has a difficult relationship with her mom. 
So they simply don't get along like most other family members. They will more likely lean to complaints, mean interactions, and will be more likely to form furious sentiments. So they lost all of their friendship. They lost a lot in terms of their relationship just because her mom came over uncaring and started yelling to Dakota and Reyna was just not having it. Her brother has now also come over and she actually has a good relationship with him. He does feel uncomfortable. He doesn't feel happy. So she is going to give him the best hug ever, ask about his day, just comfort him and try to make him feel a little bit better. But there is a lot of things happening in that family that we don't even know about and that we are now slowly seeing like the tip of the iceberg off. And I really want to start exploring like more in terms of like what's happening. Like, should we take Walter into our home as well? Um, would it be better for Reyna to, as soon as she makes a little bit more money, like get her own job, get a bigger job, like start getting um, into like a different household, take Walter with her, try to get ownership for Walter. I think there's a lot of things that may be put into a storyline that could be really interesting to play out alongside our Whimsy family. Of course, the Whimsy family will be the main focus of this, like this Let's Play, the series. But that doesn't mean that we cannot introduce like any other family members or any other storylines that can play alongside our own. So we definitely need to get the bot because Fern is dirty and. We are going to get rid of the of Fern and Clover, but for now they're still in the household. Petal is getting dirty from playing in the trash that we cannot throw away because she's playing in it. So there's a lot of things that we need to take care of. But at least, no, you're not going to be mean. Be yelled at by... No, I was about to say you're not going to be mean, but he's mean to her. So there's definitely, like I said, a few things. Like she's going to express hope for the future. Yeah. But it's Harvest Fest and there's definitely a few things that are happening in this family that we we need to figure out. Like they don't, if you check the family tree, it's just them and their mom. They don't have a father, like their father is not a player. Like, do they have the same father? Do they have a different father? There's a lot of things that we don't know and that we we just have no idea of. So again really interesting to find out but for now we are just going to decorate our home decorate our our nice little place uh, for harvest fest and then just celebrate a little bit of harvest fest to at least have like some fun so i'm sorry if i scrambled a lot i'm sorry if i'm explaining a lot uh, but i hope you do you love these ex uh, understand my train of thought understand where i'm coming from and what i'm thinking uh, and understand like where I want to take the story and I would love your feedback to see if you love me to agree with me or if you think we should take this story like a whole different way let me know in the in the comments down below like where do you think this story should go where do you think Arena is going like is she gonna stay in this household no we lost the lifestyle okay yeah we need to get that lifestyle back um but let me know in the comments down below like what you lovely think and how we should proceed and Reyna is actually asking Dakota, no one likes me, no one will ever like me, why bother with anything anymore? And I feel like if he had been her parent for a longer period of time, he would say, I will always love you. In this case, I think people like you look around. Just because she hasn't lived with them for that long, like it's been a few Sims days, and they haven't had that much of a relationship. You can see here, like it's very small and green. So in this case, like if he would have been her dad, he would have said this. Like I feel like he is more of that type of dad. But just because they don't have much of a relationship, and I'm always playing, I'm sorry, uh, people like you look around. So this increased her responsibility, but decreased her empathy, which is now out of the <laughs> compassionate trait. But I feel like we can work a little bit on her character values just to make sure that she does have some nice values. We can also calm down Woody because he doesn't like the uh, computer. Nobody here in this household actually likes. So we're probably going to have to calm down all of the doggies. See, oh, 
Fettel actually doesn't mind. And where do we have Fern? Is Fern seriously hiding in the cabinets? Um, we do have to lecture him about a lot of different things. Did we already? Yeah, barking. Oh, these dogs, they take so much effort. And it's so much that we have to do for these doggies. So that's why, like, they're both all big dogs. Like, they're all, like, not small. And they really take effort in it that we just know that probably need to take away two of the doggies and really make sure Paddle doesn't go pregnant again. Well, for now, she has a sentiment about friendly advice. So Rainer remembers when Dakota listened to her problems and shared some thoughtful advice. She did lose a little bit of a relationship with her brother as well. Like, he's erratic, he's acting out. I think he's struggling with her not being there and with just being with his mom. So she's going to be thankful to him. And she was also actually doing a little bit of parenting on him, encouraging doing his homework. Um, she was also, like, disciplining... Asked not to shout forbidden words, but also asking him not to be mean. So she is like trying to take up a little bit more of the motherly role and just be like nice to him, say like it's okay to be angry, but know that whatever happens, like I am hopeful for the future. Like I I am sure things will go for the better. Like I'm not living there now, but it doesn't mean that I don't love you and I'm just trying to make sure that you can stay with mom that you can stay in a house and that we will have like at some point a a better home and a better place so for now it's gonna be different but know in the future like I'm gonna be there for you and know that I'll never stop being your sister no matter where I am and no matter how often we see each other and Isabel just reached the max level of handiness skills so she will always find rare parts from selfage can craft toilets at the woodworking table upgrade kitchen offset objects twice as fast and mentor any sims in handiness she's been working on this table so long that she actually maxed out the handiness skill that's amazing we have a crying baby over here so uh reyna is doing some extra credit work i want you to stop working on the woodworking uh, we can finish it up later and actually take care of your daughter. So please, baby care, change your dirty diaper. And in the meantime, we'll invite out Jenny to have a little bit more people over at the Harvest Fest. As we do also need to work on some Harvest Fest things. The, the day is almost over and we haven't really done anything so far. Uh, so Jenny will be right over. Um, and in the meantime, as I said, Reyna is working on extra credit. I think Dakota, while cooking, or maybe after the cooking, he can help Reyna with her homework, just so she has like a little bit more extra help. So let's help with homework. We're not going to adopt her as care dependent. Like she has a mom, she has a family, uh, but as I said, she's just staying with us here for now. We definitely do not have enough space in this home for a calm dinner but i guess people can sit on the bed and still have like a nice cozy time so reyna has done her extra credit she is going to replace her tampon soon and i think she's also going to work on knitting a teal and yellow bear beanie just because i think like it would be cute to put it on hazel which i've been really 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 thinking about it wouldn't it be we already got a pop-up for hazel's birthday but i don't have it here but wouldn't it be better to have like a harvest fest birthday so instead of like waiting for her to age up naturally i'm actually going to age her up now so we have the first infant of the series in this home and we can start seeing like what she looks like, what she's gonna, who she's gonna look like the most, and see a little bit more of like her future personality and if she is going to be the heir or if we will have another sim to be the heir. So we got the smile on Master Unlock. She's definitely having some CC that's not 
working out and she is sunny okay so we are gonna keep with the sunny we are going to quickly put the ham dinner in here and as i said it's crowded like it's too much in here and we still need to fit like a toddler crib over here but there we go hazel is now a in an infant and let's quickly cr take her into create a sim and start giving her her infant makeover okay this little baby is very very cute we are gonna take a picture of her right over here so we can hang it off the wall and we definitely had to move her out because we don't have any way to fit like everything in the tiny home so we got the crib over here i think isabel is the right one to actually upgrade it at a baby mobile and it's gonna be the birds then Dakota, you are quickly going to take care of your need for a toilet and i think reina is the one who's gonna do tummy time autonomously with hazel wow nice job reina but we do have like some stuff out here i moved the table quickly over here just because i felt it was better Ooh, we have a plan to evolve but we have our travel grip over travel grip travel crib over here that i'm gonna put in the inventory so whenever we travel we can just place her down in the crib we have a play mat here which is from the same set as the crib and then we also have a way to change her diaper whenever we need to but i think this is not matching with the set so i quickly have to move it back we just have a few items like it's not much but we need to find it to place it somewhere like i do want to start building on top of here once isabel age up ages up but since i prolonged the lifespan of each day it's going to take 20 days until she ages up and in by that time hazel is going to be a child we may have some other kids so i'm slightly gonna change the rule just because i prolonged the aging that we can slowly start building onto the home as soon as they reach 15,000 simoleons. So I, like, if I would have been playing with normal lifespan, we would have reached the rule and I would have sticked with it for sure. But um, if you lovelies are okay with it, I will post a poll on Twitter for it, as well as on the community tab. If you're okay with it, we're gonna say that as soon as they reach 15,000 simoleons, we can start building an addition to the home and we can start upgrading it to the next stage but we will not uh, upgrade it until the final stage or uh, to the final stage until we are fully a an adult but i think it's going to be a lot better if we have a bit of a bigger home so not that reina can have her own room because i don't think we will be able to fit that in but at least so we have a little bit of a better way to fit any potential other kids in here as well as have a better place for hazel so she's gonna upgrade as i said hazel you are feeling happy from being in a micro home she <laughs> already has a weakness that she's not able to ride okay um this is because she actually i actually have in my game from mcc that they can inherit traits this one i'm going to remove because a weakness is not something you inherit uh who is to say that she may not be very good at writing from an infant age on i find it funny but we'll see in the future like if she's actually bad at writing or not she did adopt a lot of a uh, lot of pets and as i said she had her first smile but we're gonna see if she can learn some of the other milestones as well wait Okay, something is not right because you definitely did not learn how to reach. You definitely did not lift your head and you also didn't learn how to cruise. So please, yes, that's how it goes. But Reina, if you want to do some tummy time with Hazel, like that's completely fine. So why don't you... Let's see. Can we do some tummy time actually in here? No, she can not 
So I'm just going to see if I can pick up Hazel. And if it then works to placing her down over here. Yeah, put Hazel here. And let's see if we can then do the, the tummy time together. But it does look sweet that she immediately wanted to do the tummy time. And immediately wanted to be like some sort of like caretaker for Hazel or a bigger sister. So it's really sweet that we see that side of... Of Hazel that she probably would have had with her younger brother as well. But because she doesn't seem that often. She puts those protection feelings um, towards Hazel. So she's going to do her first tummy time. She's not happy with it. But that's of course that's okay sweetie. Just try to lift your head. Like you can do this sweetie. You can do this. Oh. I want to take a cute picture, but I don't think we can take like a great picture with the way the playmat is located. But she's gonna do this, Hazel. Yeah. So she's gonna quickly take care of one tummy time, and then I think Dakota and Isabel are gonna take care of some of their own time. Isabel does have some condoms in there, but they are going to quickly do a who i'm not gonna disallow the other use of condoms so we'll see if they use condoms they use condoms if they don't use condoms we'll see how it goes and if they get a baby because i do want to make sure with how long a pregnancy takes that we also have the opportunity to actually give some siblings to hazel and she doesn't grow into a teenager by the time we have our second or third child so how are you doing with the tummy time? Is it going okay or do you want some you want some foodies and you're checking out what everything is? Well you can check out your mom's woodworking. Uh in the meantime, Hazel Oh she's knitting autonomously. What are you okay, I'm gonna let her knit and I'm just gonna have uh, Hazel be here, maybe reach out onto the playmat, see what she she can look at the toys for now, and then we will have her as soon as her parents are done, have her parents give her some milk and then potentially put her into the grip after one more tummy time. It is the next morning, it is fall break, which means they need to play games and travel. Isabel is blowing a raspberry to Hazel, which is so sweet, but she is a little bit of a sad girly. Why are you sad? So you are in need of bladder and a little bit of sleep, which means we can probably do one tummy time with you. And I guess if we want to finish this dining table, we would be able to put her in a back carrier and have her stay with us and sleep that way. Well, first of all, activities, we're going to do tummy time together as well as play peekaboo. Because I think I've never even really, maybe... With not to bury, but otherwise I've never really achieved peekaboo as a milestone. So let's hope that we can do it now. But I want her to learn how to lift her head and slowly start working on all the S milestones. Just because I feel like it's I haven't reached all of them. And if we can do it with this family, because the time is a lot longer, I would love to. Ooh, that was one milestone achieved. So we got the lift head milestone. And... We're just gonna practice the peekaboo, blow the raspberry, and oh yeah, you come come over. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, we have Hazel here, but if you want to come over, that's 100% okay. That means first visitors. And let's see activities. What we can do is just as baby care, put her in the back carrier, so we can start working on our job, things that we have to do. Unit is shave, my man. Like, I don't care if you don't mind shave, if you want to have facial hair, but please shave it off, because this beard, it's it's a no-no. It's a no-no for me. And, and take shower as soon as you're done. Oh, you can eat too. You can eat the gummy bear pancakes. And Oh, it's not dirty. I thought it was dirty. Uh, yeah, go for it. They got a sentiment. Oh, I think she is. She got a sentiment for being like in awe or something. 
like that. Yeah, she's fascinated. Are you gonna put her in the back carrier? No. Oh, please put, please put your daughter in the back carrier so you can do your job with her on your back. Go on, put her in the back carrier. Is it working? There we go. Is it working? There is no back carrier. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, this is actually the override that I have. I will post the link to it down below. But it's actually a really gorgeous override that makes them a little bit more softer, gives them a little bit more colors. Uh, we are going to resume the dining table in the meantime. And then we are also going to do the chatting with the client and all those kind of things that we need to do to finish off that job. But since we focus mostly on Harvest Fest, I think I'm going to end the episode here with the family taking care of their skills. Can she not stay on your back? Wait, oh, she has a dirty diaper. Oh, okay. Change Hazel's diaper then before we finish up this episode. But as I was about to say, like I think this is a good place to stop for the next episode. I may want them to focus on having a baby, but I also really want to focus on the money grind. So what I think I'm going to do is because we have a lot of things that we can harvest again and a lot of things that we can actually sell. So I will probably go back to Hanford on Beckley, take Hazel with us, take Reina with us and start because this brings us for a lot of money, especially the dragon food. So I really just want to make sure that we sell those, maybe start working into converting this into a place, a marketplace or something where we can sell all of the things we create. So we really get on that money grind and start building a little bit more of a family home up, which we are definitely going to need if we want to have some additional babies. So for now, I think that's the plan. Like if you guys agree, that we are going to focus on making a little bit of money, seeing Hazel grow, focusing a little bit on the, the family side Aww. and just see how all of the rest goes. Please put her, as I said, in the uh, back carrier. Are, are you? Putting her in the back carrier. <sighs> not sure if she's putting her in the back carrier or not. But we'll do that off camera then instead but hope you lovelies did like this episode if it was a little bit chaotic or a lot of talking i do apologize but if you did as i said if you like this episode click the little like button down below let me know what you think of Raina's storyline like what's going on with her family what's going on with with her brother her mother and the whole situation like is there more to it than i am thinking right now is there less to it let me know what you love these think and also let me know what you think of cutesy little hazel and what our next baby should be like is isabel pregnant is she not pregnant and if she's pregnant is it going to be a boy or a girl and let me know if we should start building up the home a little bit more with a second um second floor so we expand the home a little bit more to have a room for the kids and to have actually a place for them to sleep inside. Let me know all of that, if it should be from 15,000 simoleons, 20,000 simoleons, or if we don't do it at all. Let me know all of those things in the comments down below. And if you're not subscribed yet and don't want to miss out on either a wholesome or chaotic video, make sure you click the subscribe button down below as well. And I'll see you lovelies in the next one. You've never flown before You can take a chance and try once more Don't let your worries weigh